put it on for myself so you getting it. <laughs> I think that interpreted that is soak it up, buttercup. I, I tried to get it. I just got choked up. There's been many. to 
come to you. Could you please come down to me? Could you please, Lord, come down to me? Praise the Lord. Amen. Some good singing. Yes. Now, if you got your Bible tonight, go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4. Very familiar scripture. You know, he's joking about sending a text to yourself. I was at work the other day. And God gave me a word. That's good. One word. Amen. Not not a message. Uh, Sometimes God pours it out. And some days, man, he just lets you hit give one thing. But some days, one word's all you need. Amen. Amen. And that word was empty. Amen. That's what God said. Empty. Oh. I said, okay. <laughs> so, hey, I know I ain't the only one. Sometimes God speaks something. It don't make sense. Amen. No, it's not then. It's kind of like watching a movie. You ever watch a movie and, and you turn it on and something happens and you're kind of like, what's that about? Why is that in there? By the time you get to the end of the movie, you know exactly what it was in there for. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if any of y'all question, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one that questions God, right? Can I get amen? Amen. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one that sometimes kind of looks at God like he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> right? Because I'm sending myself a text, and I'm thinking, Empty? What the heck's he talking about? Then I come home, and I get my iPad out. Jenny bought me a new one, so this one updates and everything. I mean, I'm high caught now. If I get a case where I can bring it out, I might bring it to church one Sunday. Have you some notes on it? Well, that's the bad thing. I made notes on it, and I had to go home after supper and write them down because I didn't want to bring my iPad because I got a case on it. I'd drop it and break it. <laughs> but I come home, and I started to read it on my iPad. And as I'm reading it, I love when God gives you a word and you act on a word mm -hmm. and you read it. Yeah. I wasn't even studying. I wasn't even looking. Amen. I was just reading. Amen. God said, empty. And, and when I sent myself a text on empty, then a scripture come to mind. So when I went home and, and I got my iPad and I went to this scripture and I started reading it, because at this point, I still don't know what's going on. Yep. I'm just doing what God said to do. Yep. And, and as I'm reading it, God speaks to me. And he said, I can't feel Amen. something that's already full. Come on. It's got to be empty before I can put something in it. And I said, Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're walking around, and I'm getting, let me read a little bit. I get ahead of myself here. Now there was a, this chapter 4, 2 Kings, I think I already said that, I'll make sure, verse 1. And now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Bless her heart. So that's the very definition of rock bottom. Yeah. 
Can I get amen? amen. Uh, her supplier, her provider, her everything was gone. And she had nothing but trouble, sorrow, and death, and fear. Because she thought they're coming to get them. Now, sometimes we be happy. Hey, Amen. Somebody rolled up and said, I'm taking your kids. Let me get a bag. Hey, Amen. I'm just kidding, kids. I love y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't mean it. No, I love y'all. But Elijah said unto her, verse 2, What shall I do for you? In other words, what do you want me to do for you? You cried out. You stopped me. You brought my attention. Now what do you want me to do about it? And he said, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in your house? In other words, what do you got? We spend a whole lot of time worrying about what we ain't got. We spend a whole lot of time looking at what we don't possess, what's bad, what could happen. Amen? She was worried about, hey, this dude, that we owe him some money, and he's about to come and take everything I got. He's going to take my kids. It's a different time back then. See, those boys were supposed to get a job and take care of their mama. That's right. That was what they were going to do. And if they took her boys, then she had nobody. That's right. So instead of worrying about what she had, she was too caught up on what was going to happen. Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. I see... God give me a word called empty. Because if you don't empty your fear, you can't fill it with nothing else. Ooh, that's good. Hey, man, that's just good. I don't care who you are. Amen. That's a whole lot better than y'all let on. Amen. See, we're walking around full of fear, full of worrying about stuff and thinking about stuff. And worst case scenario... God can't pour no faith in there if you ain't got room for it. That's right. Amen? A lot of times we want to walk around and look at the problems instead of the one that can fix it. Yeah. That's right. Amen? He said, hey, what have you got? Because let me tell you what, when you get rock bottom, amen, when it gets down to the point where you're where this lady is right here, That's amen, right. you realize then it's just you and God. That's it. It, there's three people in the equation. You, God, and your problems. That's right. Amen. And in that moment, see, they ain't going to be no Christians knocking the door down to come help you out. Come on. Most of the time, they ain't even going to know about it. Amen. Hey, let's be honest. We all like to think uh, that, hey, sometimes I got enough problems of my own, it's hard for me to worry about yours. That's right. That's right. You better not be dependent on Brother Chad to call you, Brother Chad to come bail you out. Brother Chad to come lift you up. Hey, I'll be happy to when I can. But I'm like old out here. Hey, what have you got? Amen. You need to, first you need to figure out what you want. He said, what do you want me to do? What do you want? See, most of us don't even know what we want. We know we got problems. Amen. Amen. We know what bad's going to come, but we don't know what we want because we ain't got room for it. Amen. Amen. No. We've never had to, hey, we've never had to depend on it. Hey, we kick back, man, as long as everything's green. As long as everything's taken care of, we don't worry about nothing. She never worried about making a house payment. I don't know if they had house payments back there, but I'm just going to use that. She never worried about bills or food or none of that. Why? Because somebody else took care of it. Well, what happened when he was gone? That's right. Then the problem set in. Yes. Then, hey, she... It, you can accept it or not. I don't care. I'll show you how God showed me. She had a vessel and she started to feel it. Amen. But she didn't feel it with faith. That's right. She didn't feel it with God's provision or God's goodness or God's abilities. She filled it with creditors. Yeah. And, and worst case scenarios. And, am I talking to anybody? Anybody know what yeah, I'm talking about yeah, tonight? Yeah. 
See, we've been sitting around wringing our hands, wondering about this and that. And again, you know what? Uh, God, just like God sent him, uh, he sent me tonight to ask you, what have you got? Amen. What do I have? What's in your possession right now? I ain't worried about what you're going to get tomorrow. Because tomorrow. tomorrow's stuff ain't going to get me through today. What do you have right now? And I like this. And she said, I don't have anything in my house. I ain't got nothing. Anybody ever said, I can't do nothing? I can't get no word. I can't get a prior through. I can't get no peace. I can't win for losing. Amen? Anybody, y'all said that, right? Yes. Except <coughs> the pot of oil. Miss Diane, we're so worried about what this hand ain't holding. That's right. That we miss out on what this hand is. Yeah. Amen. We're so busy looking at what we don't have and we miss out on what we do have. Yeah. We got to realize that anything, when you, when you take it out of your hand and put it over into God's hand, amen, it will be enough provision for you and everybody in your household. Come on. Amen. amen. She took what she had. It was not much. In her eyes, she said, I ain't got, hey, it didn't mean enough to her for her to even call it out. She said, I ain't got nothing. Wait a minute. But a pot of oil. Amen? Yeah. That's all I got, a little bitty pot of oil. Probably thinking, but what's that? Every one of us out here tonight, everybody watching right there at some point said, what's, what's that? You look at what you've got, what's that? Amen. It ain't nothing in your hand. Amen. That little big pot of oil she had right there wasn't enough to make me three pancakes, Miss Diane. But you take that and put it in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. And it, it equaled freedom. It equaled deliverance. It equaled dependence. Amen. It equaled more than enough. So whatever we can take out of our hands, quit looking at it in your eyes. Yep. Hey, God, I'm, I thank God that he don't see nothing through my eyes. Amen. 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 When I'm looking at you and I'm thinking you're sorry and you done messed up, God's looking through my eyes and seeing grace. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, hey, when I look at something and say that'll never come to nothing, God's seeing an outcome for it. When I'm seeing lack, God's seeing is enough. Amen. When I say lost, God sees found. Amen. When I say broke, He sees fixed. Amen. When I see bound, He sees set free. It's all in whose eyes you're going to look through. We're so busy looking at an empty hand that this world's gave us. And we can't see what God's got. That's right. And until she realized, I got to empty out some stuff. I got to bring something empty to God. For him to ever feel it. See, we ain't got nothing empty. Can I get amen? Amen. Hey, my heart ain't empty. Can I, hey, amen. I'm just going to preach tonight. My heart ain't completely empty because I've got a whole bunch of other stuff up in there. But boy, if I could ever empty it. Amen. Hey, man, and put that over into the hands of God and let him feel it. Come on. Oh, I could love like God loves. Hey man, if I could empty my mind of what the world's put in, I wouldn't even blame it on the world, what I put in there myself. Amen. Amen. And God could feel it. Oh, I think like Jesus. Amen. Oh, and let me tell you what, if we could think like Jesus, if my heart was filled with Jesus, oh, Lord have mercy how much better I would be. And everybody that come in contact with you, and you'd be the same way. Amen. We're so caught up on what we ain't got. We think it's very little. Ain't no little in the hand of God. Amen. There ain't never been a little bit in the hand of God. Amen. You put a little bit in the hand of God, it comes more than enough automatically. That's right. She said, I ain't got nothing but a little pot of oil. He said, go. Amen. He didn't say, oh, man, I hate that. Bless your heart. I'll pray for you, sister. Amen. Amen. I'll pray for you that God will increase that. See you later. He said, no, you take what you got, you take your nothing, you take your less than, we're going to put some action with that thing. Amen. Amen. We're going to put some action with it. Hey, what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence and us. Hey, faith will make you move when everything else tells you not to. That's right. That little bit of oil, you take a little bitty thing of oil and you add a little bit of measure of faith to that thing, and let me tell you what, she'll get free. Amen. 
If we take a little bit of what God's given us, I don't care what it is. You take your little bit of ability, amen, and you put some faith on that thing, and you watch it grow. Amen. And you watch it bless everybody you come in contact with. And it'll start in your own household. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I like this. He said, go. Go and borrow. See, you're worried about what you got. You go borrow something from somebody else. Amen? Y'all have heard me preach this before, and I'm going to throw it in there for free. Amen. If you ain't got enough faith, you go borrow something. That's right. Amen? If you ain't got enough of something, you find you somebody sitting in the church, somebody on Facebook, somebody you know, you go borrow some of what they got. Amen? And you add it in with what you got. And you take your little bed and what you've borrowed, begged, and stole in the kingdom of heaven, and you add God's faith on it, amen, and watch it multiply. Amen. But oh no, I can't let y'all know I need some. Come on, bless me, Lord. Oh Lord, no, I, I, Steve, I can't tell you that I need some faith. I don't need. I can't tell you that I need some help with this. I can't tell you that I'm weak in this bless point right you, here, and I need That's you to right. pray. I can't tell you that Come because on. if I show you my weakness. Come on. Hey Amen. And it's going y'all gonna see me as weak. Hey Amen. I'm gonna walk around with my vessel. I'm gonna walk around with my little bitty pot of oil. And I'm gonna be content with it because pride goes before destruction. Amen. Amen. And I'm gonna walk around with it and I'm gonna miss out That's right. on feeling everything else. That's right. Now somebody need to hear that. Amen. That's good. Somebody needed to hear that. That's right. See, we sitting up in here prideful and every one of us got a half empty jug. Come on. That's right. Hey Amen. Everybody got a little bitty oil, but what if? What if I said, here you go, I'm going to give you some of mine. Brother, I'm weak, I need some help. Well, you know what? I'm going to believe for you. I'm going to give you a little bit of mine. Amen. I'm going to give you another vessel. I'm going to add a little bit to what you've got. Come on. Amen. He said, go and borrow it abroad of all your neighbors. Who's my neighbor? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. If they're human, they're your neighbor. That's right. If they're born again, they're your neighbor. Hey, don't go borrow something from somebody in the world. What do you need that for? No. What you're going to try to put in that jug ain't going to fit anyway. That's amen. right. Hey, man. Hey, I ain't going to borrow from somebody that ain't saved, amen, because any vessel they give me ain't going to hold what God's trying to put in there. Yes. And you're a fool if you think it will. That's right. That's right. Like trying to put 10 pounds of taters in a 5-pound sack, son, it ain't going to fit, amen. That's what we got to realize. You better be careful who you're going and borrowing from. Because opinions like an elbow, everybody got one, and they're going to give it to you, Amen. whether you want it or not. And you can't put new wine in an old skin because no, it'll bust it. Amen. Yeah. It will. See, too many of us going out and borrowing. I don't know who need to hear this. I don't know if it's somebody sitting here or my tire or every one of us. Amen. We're trying to go borrow vessels from somebody that our stuff ain't going to fit in. That's right. It can't hold what God's trying to do. Amen. Like this. He didn't tell him just go borrow anything. Amen. He said, You go get you some empty ones. Yep. Don't you go get their beliefs. Come on. Amen. Don't you go get their thoughts. Don't you go get their opinions. <laughs> don't hey, don't you go get what they think about your husband and your kids and how much money you owe. Don't you go get you some that's half full of the same doubt that you had when you got here. Don't go get some that's already looking at your problem and they're three quarters way full of problems already. Oh, you go get you an empty one. Amen. That's good. And you bring it back. That's good. Because if it's already full, God can't put nothing in it. Mm. Amen. God ain't going to take that thing and try to pour his goodness into junk. Amen. Amen. I'm here to tell you, if you've got a bottle full of junk, you better empty it tonight, amen, and let God fill it up. Walk around uh, living all kind of ungodly life and acting a fool and then come in here one time expect God just to pour a blessing out on me that I can't contain. Uh-uh. You better read the rest of it, amen. That's what's wrong with us, Miss Diane. People coming in already so full, God can't force nothing on them if he had to. Amen. You're too full of the world. You're too full of this. You're too full of that. You fill in the blank. You know your sin. I don't. But you're so full of it that he can't put nothing in there. God said you need to empty them. Bring me empty ones. Because I can work with that. <coughs> Amen. I ain't wasting what I got. That's good. That's what God told me. I ain't wasting my goodness. 
Amen. I ain't pouring it out and it just overflowing. Or I ain't putting in something to water it down. Amen. There ain't no watering down what I got. It's a hundred proof, baby. It's full proof in there. You ain't going to cut it with water and weaken it down. God don't work that way. And borrow not a few. <laughs> Amen. I like that. Amen. Don't just get a few. You carry, hey man, what if God come and told you, uh, you go get everything you can get and bring it in here and I'll fill it up. Amen. I got one better. What if God said, you go out there and get every bottle you can find and I'll fill it full of gold and money. Son, we come in like this right here. Would you not? I'd have two armfuls of kicking them coming in the door. He said, don't just get a few. Because a few ain't going to do what I'm fixing. It ain't going to hold what I'm about to pour out. Listen to me. A few ain't going to save your sons. A few ain't going to pay your house off. A few ain't going to give you peace. Amen. You better get enough Amen. to get it while you're here. Amen. That's good. Hey, we think, we think sometimes, man, uh, that God's an ATM. Yes, we do. Can I get amen? It's true. Shoot, boy, my old knee hurts today. I'm going to walk over and get me a healing. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Amen. Good. And out it pops. I got a receipt and everything. Glenda got it in my wallet. There you go. I need peace today. Bless you, Lord. Out it comes. Uh -uh. Come on. Don't always work like it. Don't always work like that. That's right. Sometimes you better have some stored up. That's right. Amen. Sometimes you remember the old timers, they bury their money in a, in a glass jar out in the yard sometimes. And when something come up, they go out there and dig it up, unscrew the top off that mason jar, get them a couple bucks and take care of whatever they needed. They laid some up for later. So when we get in the presence of God, when God tells me to empty it, I better show up with enough. Good. To get me some extra. Amen. Amen. Now some people don't want to hear that. They thank God. They thank God's an ATM. That he owes you this. And God don't owe you nothing. Amen. No, he don't. They thank God. And, and, and you can write that down, mark it down, turn the TV off. I don't care. God don't owe you nothing. He didn't owe you one more thing than Jesus dying on the cross, amen, to set you free from your sins, amen, that you did not have to go to a place that was assigned for you. Outside of that, you better be thankful for everything extra. Amen. He never said I'd live pain free. He never said that I wouldn't die. He never said that I wouldn't get sick. He never said that I wouldn't be broke. Oh, don't want to hear that, brother. Fast forward that. Huh? Hey, I didn't read about Paul and him rolling around in no brand new Mercedes Benz. That's good. Gold chains dripping off of them. Staying at the White Hotel while they was over there. I must have missed that. That's good. I've missed out on first and second prosperity. I can't find it in here. Amen. Amen. I read about a Jesus that said you'll suffer persecution. Yep. I read about people in this in this very book right here that was stoned for believing in what Jesus said. Beheaded. Everything. Hey, I know good Christian people that's died. Amen. So don't think Jesus owes you anything, ATM, and your life's going to be perfect. See, if you've already bought into that, your glass is already full. Amen. That's good. And when they try to put some truth in there, Come on. then you're going to get mad and get your feelings hurt. And you're going to run right back out in the world and start filling your vessels with something else. That's right. Got to be careful what you're putting in people's vessels. He said, go borrow something. That's why he said, go get them empty. I don't want your beliefs in there. Amen. Amen. Hey, sometimes you got to just tell it. I like this. Verse 4. I highlighted this too. And when you are come in, mm. and when you are come in, yep. I'm going to say it again just because I like it. And when you come in, not you and your buddy, just you. Amen. Not you in the church. I love my church. I hope y'all love your church. But sometimes it's just you. Sometimes the only way you can get out of your problems is you and God. 
Sometimes uh, you got to be by yourself to make sure nobody else don't put no junk in your vessel. That's right. Hey, man. Hey, like I said, everybody got an opinion. And everybody sitting right here on this pew, everybody watching on Facebook is give somebody their opinion and try to wrap it in Scripture where it sounds holy. Amen. Can I get amen? Amen. Right? Amen. That sounds good. I'll try that. Amen? So you've put this much in a vessel that should have been empty. Mm -hmm. And you'll shut the door. It's upon you. Shut the door. You'll get away from everybody else. I think of Job. When I was, when I was reading this, I thought of Job. Yeah, poor old Job. Hey, poor old Joe, uh uh, man. I look at Joe. Joe was a Joe was a, a superhero, son. Amen. Let me tell you about something about Joe. And I, I gotta get tore loose on this every time I ever talk about Joe. I wanna tell you about a man that God was standing up in heaven one day and the devil come up, said, Hey man, what's up? I've been where you been? I've been down our Roman to and fro looking at your people. God looked him in the eye and said, Hey, you ever consider Joe? Amen. Now think about that. Let that right, sink in. You think you want something, devil? Hey, think about it. That, now, that's that's the 20th, or what are we in, 21st, 22nd? I don't even know what century we're in now. Well, that's the futuristic version of it. You think you want some of somebody? Look at old Job down there. I see Job, Greg, standing there looking like Rambo. Got a red bandana tied around his head, six-pack, saying, come on. Amen. God's like, yeah, go get some of that. Go get some of a man that I know won't fail. Go get some of a man that I know has got enough faith to handle everything you'll bring and still give me glory. Go get you some of that. Well, hey, I would love for God one day to look at me. Amen. With that kind. Hey, and you, you don't, some people want to, this will offend some people. I don't care. Get over it. God had to have faith Amen. in Job. Yes, he did. Because he knew Job wouldn't fail. Right. Oh, but Job's buddies, now, they kick a man when he's down. Yes, they did. Hey, man. They must come from the modern church. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I'm telling you. Church only, this only army that kills are dead and are wounded. Yep. Somebody messes up, we put them out. That's right. Somebody falls down, we kick dirt on them. His buddies come and say, man, you must have messed up. You just done something you don't know what it is. Yep. No, Job held on. I didn't do nothing. Amen. I like the part in the end where it said Job prayed for his buddies. Amen. Amen. Yeah, when he prayed for his buddies. Amen. Hey, maybe he went through that where he could pray Amen. for them heathens that they'd get right. <laughs> yeah, then, then he got everything back. See, he didn't take on their... I, I, I told all y'all thought I got lost, didn't you? I'm coming back. See, he couldn't take none of that in his vessel. Amen. He had to get alone. He even told his wife. He said, you talk like a foolish woman. He said, how can I take the good things from God Amen. and not take the bad? He said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, but blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, we all on board for the good. There ain't none of us want the bad. Oh, amen. amen. Many a fool has stood and prayed for patience. Amen. Can I get amen? Hey, I'm just going to put that out there. If you standing up saying, God, give me some patience, you're a fool. Yes, you are. Asking you shall receive. Only way you're going to get patience is you're going to be put somewhere where you got to use it. Amen. And it usually ain't going to be good. True. Amen. Hey, he said, shut yourself. Shut the door upon you and your sons. You take the ones that this concerns. Uh -huh. Just them. It don't concern nobody outside of here. It's you and your boys. Your boys are the ones going to get carried away. And you're the ones going to be left alone. So don't worry about nobody else. Right. Hey, when it gets serious, I ain't worried about nobody else. I can't worry about what somebody else thinks about it. Or what somebody else's opinion or what, or what they think I ought to do. I love how everybody tell you how to get out of it. Amen. Mm. Let me tell you what I do. No, what you need to do is shut up. Amen. What you need to do is shut up. If you start any sentence with let me tell you what I would do. 
regarding the kingdom of heaven, Amen. disclaimer, shut up. Because you're about to mess you and that person up. Right. Now, if you started with, let me tell you what God said, Amen. then carry on. <laughs> Amen? But if it's, let me tell you what I do, huh? -uh. There's a thin line there. Oh, I Amen? Because if God puts something in there, it's going to prosper. It's going to accomplish what he sent it to do. Because he's got the power to back up his word. We don't. Amen. And you shall pour out into all of those vessels. And you shall set them aside when they're full. Amen. So in other words, I want you to take your little. And you've been obedient. You've done what the man of God told you to do. Faith come by hearing, hearing come by the word of God. Faith without works is dead. Nobody wants to hear that four-letter word in church, but hey, faith without works is dead. He spoke a word. Here's what you need to do. She done it. She went off by herself. She took borrowed vessels, borrowed empty vessels with nothing in them, and she began to pour. She began to take what she had, magnified by the power of God, and began to pour. Now I believe... When she was doing this, I believe as she poured, the worry went away. Amen. I bet when she got that first bottle poured, Miss Diane, the worry lacking some. When she got the next one poured, the doubt started to go away. When she poured the next one, amen, every time she poured and filled an empty vessel with nothing but God's goodness. That's all it was. There was nothing there but God's goodness and his ability. See, and if you don't get along sometimes, Amen. it's kind of like Jesus knew what he was doing. Come on. It's, it's funny how that works out, ain't it? Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus was the Word that became flesh. Jesus got along by himself and prayed. Now, if it worked for him, would you not think that we need some alone time with God? And he... Went and he prayed, and I love it. He said, not my will, God. Your will be done. So what was he doing? Think about it. He was emptying his vessel and filling it with God's. Amen. Even though he was the son of God, he didn't want to die. No, he didn't. Ah, that's what the word says. And he said, hey, take this, let it pass from me. Take this cup from me. Yes. I don't want to drink it. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours. Amen? She poured them and set them aside when they was full. I like this. And so she went from him. He told her what you need to do. Here's what you need to do. If you, need, if you, if you think, what do I need to do? Read the book. Let him tell you. What do I need to do? Cry out to God. She cried out to the man of God, the prophet of God, the spokesman of God. Hey, we got it way better than they did. Amen. Hey, I ain't got to stand on the street corner, Keith, and wait for him to come by and start screaming at him. I can talk to God anytime I want to. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Don't matter if I'm in my car. Don't matter if I'm at work. If I'm driving down the road. No matter. I can be in the bed asleep. I can talk to God anytime I want to. So she went from him and she shut the door upon her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. Amen? I love, I love these words. And it came to pass. I love and it came to passes. When the vessels were full, she said unto her sons, Bring me yet another. Mm. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Stop flowing. When she run out of empty places, when she run out of somewhere to put it, it stopped. It stopped. Amen? Amen. I like this though. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go and sell the oil and pay the debt and live you and your children on the rest. I love how the, I've heard 
preacher at her preacher preach on how she didn't hang enough she should have got more she got all she needed Amen. she got all she needed right. she had just enough ain't no chance she had just enough to pay off everything that she owed and her and her sons lived on the rest. Amen. Hey, I serve a God. That's right. Amen. That's, that, hey, it's, it's all you need. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hey, she could have went and got a 55 gallon drum more and tried to fill it up, but you know what? When God gave her all that she needed. Yes. Right. Now see, we got to realize sometimes uh, we can't hold everything we want to. That's a message for, hey, we, we try to bring extra stuff, but we can't hold what we got. Amen. That's so true. Amen. We're asking God for all these things, and we're placing all that, and God's telling us how to fix it. And we're trying to do something else. Amen. Go and sell the oil, pay the debt, and live thou and thy children on the rest. Amen. Got three notes I made right here. And I'm done. That's pretty self-explanatory. Amen. Amen. First one was God wants to use what you have regardless of what you think about it. Come on. Mm -hmm. I, I, hey, I stand up here tonight thankful for a God that will use something even though I don't think it's worthy. Hey, we've all thought that about ourselves. Can I get amen? Yes. We've all thought that about other people. Can I get amen? Yep, we have. Could but you know honest. what? No matter what you think about it. She said, all I've got is a little thing of oil. God said, that's all you need. Amen? You cannot fill something up if it is not empty. As long as... As we rely on someone or something else, you will never truly rely on God. Amen. Now that's tough. Amen. I didn't even want to write that down. <laughs> Amen. Back up. Said her husband was a godly man. And she never had this problem until he was gone. No. So where was her comforter? If we're not careful... If we're not careful, we'll put our faith, we'll get our comfort, we'll get our security in the wrong places. From something that can fail. Temporary, yes. Because like I tell you, I checked the stats, man. One out of one of us is going to die. Yep, every one of us. And, and one out of one of us is going to let somebody down. And one out of one of us is going to give bad advice. And one out of one of us is going to do something wrong. And one out of one of us is going to fail. And one out of one of us is going to lead somebody the wrong way. I'm just talking about the bad stuff. Y'all do good stuff too. But God, Amen. but God, Amen. he ain't never led nobody astray. No, he didn't. He ain't never gave nobody bad advice. No. He ain't never gave up on nobody. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. He ain't never spent all his time looking at what you can't do. Amen. Hey, we look at what we can't do. God looks at what we can do. Amen. But until we learn to fully rely on God in everything. Amen. And then the last one. Sometimes you have to get alone and shut out everything in the world. Before you can ever start to fill up with what God has for you. Amen. 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 That's, one of, that's probably the hardest thing to do. Amen. Amen? The hardest thing to do sometimes is just get along with God. Yeah. I'm talking about totally alone. You ever caught yourself sitting there studying, reading, whatever you want to call it? The simplest thing gets you distracted. Amen? Yeah. It will. Amen? I can be sitting in my study and, and there will be like something over on the shelf that's been crooked for like a year and a half. And I'll notice it. Look at that, it's crooked. <laughs> hey, man, hey, y'all do, you know what I'm talking about? It's not bothered me yet, but I'm going to get up and fix that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then before long, you're looking at something else. Let me get my phone. I, I'm bad about this. Let me get my phone to look at it and see what the message says about it. Amen. Mm. What? Bass Pro Shop having a sale. Let me see what that is. <laughs> 
Amen. Right? I see y'all laughing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We think sometimes in, in, in a modern world, we all got this little secret room that we get in, and it's all holy. Oh, candles burning. Put the prior shawl on. Hey, I'm, hey, come on now. And we ain't got that. If we had it, we'd have a laptop in there. And I'd have my cell phone in there. Because the hardest thing that we do, and if we do not fully disconnect. Amen. Amen. See, y'all thought I was just being funny. If we do not get to a point where we can fully disconnect with everything else. And empty. I don't care if it's for five minutes. Amen. Empty your mind into your heart of everything that's happened in the day, everything, who's winning the ball game, who's winning the fight, what they're selling on Marketplace, and get into this and fill your vessel. Then we get in the sand shape. Then we're like her in the beginning. We're worried about all these things. When in the whole time, they, <coughs> think about it. She had the very thing. Amen. She had the very thing that she needed all along. Yeah. All along. She had, she said, I ain't got nothing. Oh, yeah, I got a little bitty thing of oil over her. God said, you know what? You had it all along. Amen. Yeah. You just had to get along. Get your mind right. Amen. Get some leadership. Wow. Get some guidance. Not from the dude that's telling you, hey, here's an eviction notice on your door and I'm coming to take your kids. She had to get some more. She could get some guidance from a man of God. Say, here, here's how you're going to get out of it. We're not talking about tomorrow. I'm not talking about best case scenarios. Hey, I, I brought a God to you that's going to use what you got right now because you need it right now. Amen. But here's the part. I, it, we might want to cut that off. We don't run this for everybody. Then comes the part where you got to do your part. Amen. It said she went into the house, her and her sons, by herself with her little pot of oil and all her borrowed bottles, and she started to pour. And she poured and set them aside. Poured, set them aside. See, she had to do it all the way they said. But it started with empty vessels. Amen. She had the little thing of oil, and that's all it was ever going to be. Amen? It was only ever going to be a little bitty thing of oil until she took a word from God in an empty vessel and began to pour out. And see, from her hand into God's hand, it, it multiplied, and it met her needs. Hey, we got to get along. Amen. We got and they, hey, I'm talking to myself. I'm preaching. What they got old saying? I'm preaching the choir. Amen. We got to get alone and empty our vessels. That's the only way. Hey, listen to me. That's the only way we're going to see our, our kids saved. That's the only way we're going to see the things that we've been. We all been praying for stuff we ain't got yet, right? Amen. We all got stuff. Uh, maybe not every night, but you got stuff you lay in bed sometimes and think about. Or comes to your mind that you wish you could fix, wish would be better off. And hey, you know what? That's how you're going to do it. Amen. Amen. We're going to have to empty ourselves. Do what God says. I'm going to say it again for myself. Do what God says. Get somewhere by myself. Me and God. Amen. Just me and God. And listen. See, we all want to get along. We think getting along with God is it's like giving a list to Santa Claus. Amen. My long time with God's me telling him what I want. Amen. I, I go to that ATM, Jesus. Mm -mm. We need to get empty. We need to come in empty and listen. He's done got it figured out. Amen. He done got it worked out. He's looking for somebody to do it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hope something been said that you liked or